Greetings my friends, here I am today out on uh, fishing hole number three and today is uh, October 17th. Um, right now it's probably roughly around uh, 2, maybe 2.30. I'm looking at doing some fishing until about 6 when my wife is going to pick me up. I'm going to be doing some wading. Um, it's my hope that uh, the smallmouth bass, rock bass, and maybe uh, some other fish will be biting that I'll have an opportunity to catch. Um, I don't know what to expect today, what kind of fish, um, in the sense of the, the viciousness, or um, will they be fattening up, or will they be aggressive, or will I just get that occasional lucky strike? Um, it is my hope that today's going to be a successful fishing day. Um, that I'll have a video at the end of this. I'm wearing my GoPro on my head. I'm trying to see something. I'm wearing my chest mounted one as well as my head. Um, it gives you basically the same view, but what I want to see is, is there a better view or angle when I'm reeling in and casting as well as talking to you, uh, get a view. I know that sometimes when I'm fishing, my chest view will get my hands and arms in the way. And I like to try to avoid that. And someone who's maybe got already figured it out, <clears throat> when you get a chance and you watch this video, just leave a message or comment down below as to what I could do in order to ensure that I get a good picture because I like to have a good shot of catching the fish and making you feel like you're part of it with me when I'm actually catching that fish and reeling it in. But uh, gonna get to the fishing and hoping today's gonna be a good day. All right, I have a white tube bait. And I want to see if I can get a different response. I had hooked the lead when I was out there, so it kept it floating. So I'm going to try back out there and see if I can get it to drop. Today is definitely going to require a lot of uh, persistence and patience. Got one. I knew if I could just be persistent and patience, I would get the fish. And it looks like I'm going to have my first one. All right, yes. Beautiful smallmouth. Going to walk it up here onto the bank. I don't lose it. There we go. Uh, get it so I don't hurt his mouth. Looks like it twisted a few times around there. Okay. Let me get the reading of it. I'm there. You saw how easy that slid out of there? What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bass. Thank you so much. I pray that your lip heals. It looks like someone had caught them before. If you look there, it looks like some damage. It's healing, um, but um, that's why I wanted to be careful. But it looks like someone had hooked them before and unfortunately messed with his mouth. But, but definitely a beautiful, beautiful bass. So I'm gonna go release him. He's cold, very cold. But I'm gonna angle him down the stream and uh, Gonna let him uh, run off and go. All right. Oh, that was interesting. So I'm not sure if that if I actually caught the fish. I'm hoping I did catch the fish before he actually swam off. That's the first time I ever put this GoPro in the water. It's my GoPro 8, um, but. We're gonna check and see what it looks like and hopefully it's gonna show where that fish swam off, but let's get back to fishing.
felt like there was a, a little fish in there, but I didn't see it. Just lost it. Oh, it was a smallmouth bass. Oh, boy, that sucks. <laughs> oh, just lost it. I'm going to try back in there. I think I got a hit almost as soon as it went in there. I just, I was trying to let it uh, sink before I started to go and I just noticed it was running. I'm gonna try to get back over there. I'm using right now a Berkley four inch minnow. Uh, just a little bigger than the uh, three inch minnow. I think the benefit in that, and I'm using it jig style. I think the benefit is that it gives it more sinking capacity. Okay, I got one. Let's see if I can keep him on. I try to reach for the net if I, and it costs me uh, losing them. There we go. Oh, that's going to be a pretty decent bluegill. There we go. Let me position my thing. Yes, what a beautiful bluegill. Got a little sore in his mouth where he hit, but he'll heal pretty quick. But yeah, just beautiful, beautiful fish. I love these uh, fish with their colors and everything. At this point, I just want to catch fish. So I'm gonna go back there. Another fish, let's see what it is. All right, got myself. Sorry if I'm putting my hand in the way. There we go. There we go. You can see that beautiful little rock bass there. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, had a little bite. That might have been a real little one, which is kind of funny. I'm fishing with a four inch uh, worm, or I'm fishing with a four inch uh, minnow, but it's amazing how brave and determined another fish can be. That can be practically the same size and yet will go after a fish that's almost as big as it is. Don't know if it's picking it up, but there's some gunshot. Okay, let's see what I got here. Ah, nice bluegill. All right, let me not get hooked. Put that right there. Yes, 
Look at that beautiful bluegill. Going to put him back. Friends, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and do share with your friends. Have a blessed day.